So I am going to teach you guys how to do one layer painting. I'm actually trying to transition out of it and to do more line art. But because I think I'm kind of experienced at it, I'm going to show you how I one layer paint. Okay, so first you want to do is pretty much start off with your sketch. You guys are wondering about my brush settings. You guys can look on your left or you can check out a video that I made like a few months ago about my brush settings. So for the line art, you can pretty much do any brush you want. It doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it up anyways. So what I like to do is kind of start out with a mid brown colors and just kind of do my thing and draw. So let's, I don't know, let's just draw a boy or something. So you know his face. Um, like I said before, you can be very messy with this just because we're going to paint over it anyways. And you just want to kind of get the basic foundation of what you want it to look like and where you want it to um, be at or something. But anyways, I'm just going to draw. Oh, and one of those my like, pet peeves is whenever I flip the canvas and it looks so bad, like proportional wise, I yeah, sometimes I just don't even bother with flipping it anymore because fixing it is just such a drag. But yeah, you guys should totally still flip your canvas because that will make it look better probably. Um, just something really simple. Okay, so now that you have your sketch right here, we're going to add a base layer of the color. So we're going to make a layer below the line art sketch. And we're just going to basically put what colors we want. Um, Let's see. I like my skin tone to be kind of on the yellow side or the red side. I don't know. What do you guys like? But I'm going to switch my brush, which is this one. And this is my painting brush. And you can just look at the settings. And I'm just going to pretty much just... um put my colors that I like. I like, I prefer warm colors when I paint, but it really depends on what mood you're in, right? So just do what you want. And you can see here my blending's on zero, um, so I can you no know, put just put down my base colors without anything really mixing. So that's what I like to do. So put my blending on zero. And just a disclaimer out there, um, I don't have pen pressure because I'm using a Mac and the sides is not corresponds with the pen pressure with the Mac, right? So I, I have no pen pressure. So that's why sometimes things might look stiffer than they should be and it's it's sad I don't have pen pressure but at the same time it's you can manage without it by playing with the dense by playing with either the density or the blending. I play with the blending a lot to get my pen pressure. And then you are gonna add the shirt. Let's give him a blue a light blue shirt. So now we're gonna add in your shading and when I do shading, I like to kind of, for the skin, I like to go more on the red and go kind of like diagonal to, diagonally right for my colors, you get what I mean? Yeah, so um, I'm just gonna shade where I think, it, oh okay, this is where you gotta change your blending to like 40 or something, 40, 30-ish. And I like to do that. And just kind of, kind of like see where the shadows are. I know there's like no shadows on the nose. There should be on the mouth, on the eye right here. Um, let's see. I don't mess with the light a lot, so I'm just gonna say <laughs> the shadow here. And I like to. What I like to do is use my eye drop tool and just kind of like get the color next to it and kind of like blend that in more. And then I make the new color right here, right? 
and then get I pick that color and just kind of like keep on blending like that. That's how I like to do things. I hope you guys get that. But yeah, just keep on like blending. So for, yeah, so I know how I made like a new color right here when I blend it in like a liar red with this. I, would, I pick that and just kind of like color it again. That's how I like to do things. Of course, um, you can be more dynamic with this by adding more colors. Sometimes I like to add purple <laughs> for my shading. I don't know why. I just really like doing it. So here's like some purple. Okay, that looks kind of bad. Eh, we'll fix it. Okay, and then same thing with hair. Um, yellow hair, I like to add some orange to it. I don't like to make my yellow hair kind of not that much muddier. So we're just going to do this. Um, of course, if you're kind of like, I don't want to say a noob, but like a noob at color scheming, which I am, I would recommend you kind of pick like a drawing that you like, the color palette of a drawing that you like, and kind of just use that as reference with the eyedropper tool and use those colors instead. I do that a lot of times when I'm unsure about the color palette that I want, and it's very helpful in um, determining what kind of colors you like, right? So you guys should, just a tip, you guys should do that. And then the blue, let's just make it, I'll give it some violets. Right. Nah, this is all like trial and error, you know? Yes. And then what I also like to do is add a background. I'm gonna, ooh, okay, didn't see that. What I like to do is kind of add in a background. Um, just because it'll make it easier to clean up when I have like a color background that I can just eyedrop tool on it. So let's give it like... Um, um, lilac? I don't know what this is. Let's just make it this color. Okay, so when that's so, say you got all your colors laid out, right? You want to now merge everything together. So I'm merging the line art, the base art, and shading, and also the background together. So it's all like one layer. Now we're going to slowly work our way to the finished drawing. And what I like to do is start off the face because I love starting off the face. And um, you can just clean this up. Eyedropper tool, guys. Use it. And we're just going to keep on using the eyedropper tool and just kind of like clean stuff up. Like just keep on cleaning it. As you can see, it's becoming neater. Right? Okay, I see the eyes are kind of fucked up. So... We'll just paint it over. Um, so here. Am I bad at explaining stuff, guys? Because I don't know what I'm... <laughs> can't really s explain much because it's kind of like something you're used to you just kind of do it automatically but I like to soften things up too like soften up features Oh, and also, I want to add some color, right? So you can add in some red. So I have some rays right here. Just like add in some color to his cheeks, especially his lips. You should add some colors in his lips. And like I said earlier, you should play with blending because here's this is like zero blending. Well, this is like 47% blending, so yeah. And then, okay, so when you kind of get this, no, not yet. Um, you can also um, use like a very dark hue or shade um, to kind of just block in colors for that contrast to, so you can make things out. So I see I blocked it in the neck so you can like differentiate where the neck is and where the um, chin is and your ears. And what I also like to do is kind of just line art too while I'm at it, like painting and layer at the same time. And then we're gonna draw the eyes. Let's give him some 
I'm gonna pick a darker color, I'm gonna lower the blending, and we're just gonna change the size. And I'm gonna use white to kind of just give himself some eyeballs. I mean, it, it's 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 good enough, right? <laughs> okay. Proportionalize. I would kind of just move this over like a little bit, like that. And if you move your line art like this. Or your painting, you can always fill it in with the eyedropper tool. Eye eyedropper tool lesson is it's your best friend and you should take advantage of it. But don't do that to your friends in real life. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. And of course you can blend, 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 blend. Ooh. I'm not very like into blending too much. I like to see my brush strokes. So I do it very subtly. And line art. Even though this is one of painting, you kind of want to add some kind of line art just to differentiate, right, where your lines are. So I, you can line art with like the same brush that you use to paint, but just lower the blending a little bit and also um, just line it. And use like a thinner brush size. It's just cleaner than if you were to do actual line art because I'm horrible with line art. Gonna color, color, color. And this part is pretty messy, so you might want to. Color. And give him tools. Well, you don't want to give him apples yet because you're going <laughs> to do his hair. So hair is the same process with the face, but probably just less variation of color in it. Um, the hair is my least favorite part to draw. And just something about hair makes people angry. <laughs> I just can't get the flow right and it looks so awkward. And I can't do anything, and anything other than like the typical mushroom hairstyle, I'm just really bad at drawing. Cause I just, maybe I don't draw hair enough. Oh shoot, okay. Yeah, just kind of clean up some parts, flip it around, see? You can see that his hair looks kind of gross. Okay, let's add in some more, like, bright colors. Um, usually, I don't even know where the hairline starts. Let's just say it starts in the middle right here or something. <laughs> As you can see, I am totally BSing the hair. But you guys get the gist of it, right? Like, just eyedropper tool and... Ah, okay. Okay, now moving on, we're just gonna finish close, close. Should be fairly simple. You're just kind of like cleaning it up. Like so. And you're adding some liner. And add some shadows in there while you're at it. And then we're going to clean it up by coloring in the background. And then you're going to do the eyes. Um, I'm the type that don't really like 
putting so much effort in the eyes, I just like um, just kind of like drying the pupils. And that's it. That's I would stop there. Maybe add in some like I don't know some what's it? irises pupils. I don't know my eye anatomy, but something like that. And I don't like highlights just because I feel like it makes it look fucking weird. So I would just leave it like this, to be honest. And now we're gonna kind of line art it just to kind of do lines. I like to do brown lines. It really depends. Um, if you're into like more of that warm color or that cool color you should do like a blue line art but or you want to like more like a kind of like a darker more striking drawing you should do a black line out but if you're doing like kind of like painting portraits or something um you should do pretty much um a brown line art because it's softer and just the neutral the neutral neutrality neutrality i don't know neutral something <laughs> it's just looks softer and nicer. It looks like it belongs there. Of course my liner is still crap. What is I suggest you guys pay more attention to the liner. Um don't forget about your ears. What well, the ears are one of those things that I neglect a lot and I just don't give a crap about it. I should probably start giving a crap about it because sometimes my ears are just like circles to in circles, right? And I'm just gonna line art it. Um, you also liner, you can kind of tell like, okay, where my color should be. So right here, I should like, you know, kind of get rid of that, color in more blue here, and maybe add in some more shading. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it, how I paint. <laughs> Forgive me if this is a crappy tutorial, but I find that one layer in painting is much more liberal than the line art. Because if you have line art, you're going to have to stick with that line art yourself unless you change it while coloring. And there's also like a bunch of layers on your screen. And it just gives me a big, big headache when I have so many layers. I like everything to be in one layer because it's simple and nicer. And yeah, I just really like the painterly look. But I'm still going to try to do a line art. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And yeah, I hope you guys kind of like watching this video. And yeah. Thanks.